Hello, my name's Paul Sheriff. Welcome to my course, C Sharp Fundamentals, where you'll learn the skills you need to become proficient at C Sharp programming. So why should you take my course? I've been a professional developer and top rated trainer since 1986. I'm gonna show you real world concepts, not just language syntax. I'm gonna help you break down those complex subjects into easy to understand steps. I'm also gonna be giving you sample code, hands-on labs, and links to other technical references and answers to any questions you may have on my course material. So please take some time and subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. My name is Paul Sheriff and I have a passion for teaching. I've been training developers for over 35 years through books, video training courses, articles, blog posts, and speaking at conferences and user groups around the world. I'm a mentor for high school and college students in IT, and I own a software consulting business for the last 30 plus years. Contact me at psheriff at pdsa.com. This course applies to .NET 6, 7, and .NET 8. You either need Visual Studio Code version 1.75 and above, or you'll need Visual Studio 2022 and above. I have many full-length courses on my YouTube channel. C-Sharp Fundamentals, Object-Oriented Programming, Minimal Web API Development, Web API Development Using MVC, Start and Run a Successful Business, and lots more coming. Please subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. Now you may be wondering, why should you learn C-Sharp? Well, it's a very flexible language that you can use for all types of programming. It's a very mature and popular language with a lot of resources out there to help you along. The documentation is top-notch. It's very easy to read and to use this language. The .NET runtime provides a large library of pre-built routines. c -sharp is also cross-platform, which means it runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac, and .NET MAUI also runs on Android and iOS. Also, c -sharp developers have great job prospects. There's a lot of jobs out there for c -sharp developers. And if you're going to use Visual Studio, which I'm going to use in this course, it's a very productive environment for C-sharp development. Trying to decide if you should take this course? Well, if you're a developer that wishes to develop web applications, cloud applications, mobile applications, games, Internet of Things, desktop applications, then this is definitely the course for you. Or maybe you're a manager who needs to communicate better with their programming team. Or maybe a QA person who needs to better understand C Sharp to help them in their job duties. By watching this course, I'm going to provide you with a solid understanding of the core C Sharp language constructs. You'll gain an understanding of essential math, comparison, and logical operators. You'll study the declaration and manipulation of variables and data types. You'll learn the fundamentals of object-oriented programming. You'll work with properties and methods of the built-in data types. You'll see how to convert data from one data type to another. You'll learn how to handle exceptions and build custom exception classes. In order to take this class, well, I'm assuming you have no prior c -sharp experience, that you do understand the basics of computer programming, and hopefully you have learned another programming language at some point in the past. Let's walk through what is going to be covered in this class. We're going to start out with .NET and how it provides foundational services to c -sharp developers. I'll give you a quick c -sharp overview and a quick overview of Visual Studio. We're then going to dive right into declaring and working with variables, working with c -sharp data types. We'll talk about the rich set of c -sharp operators that are available to you. That includes math, relational, and logical operators. We'll talk about the C-sharp decision structures, such as if statements and switch statements. We'll talk about how to loop over data. We'll talk about object-oriented programming and just give you the basic foundation of that. And we'll create a class in C-sharp so you can see how to add properties and methods. We'll talk about grouping data using arrays and working with the array list class. We'll also see the powerful string manipulations that are available in C-sharp talk about managing numbers, dates, and times. We'll talk about the impressive C-sharp date time handling that's available to you. We'll talk about converting data from one type to another. And we'll finish up with exception handling and throwing and creating custom exceptions. 
I highly recommend that you take the time to do the labs. These are step-by-step -step instructions to solidify your understanding of the topics taught in this course. Labs and sample code are available at pdsa.com YouTube. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you'll join me on your journey to becoming a C-Sharp programmer.